everybody, Macaron Teacup in here. Welcome to an updated tutorial on the interpolation curve. Yay! For updated tutorials. So you may be asking, what is the interpolation curve? The interpolation curve is showing the relational change in movement between two points over a specific time frame, or how each motion will move at a given speed and at a given time. The vertical axis represents the variation or the frame, while the horizontal axis represents the time it will take to reach that frame. So we're going to go ahead and skip to about frame 13. I'm going to raise my arm. Register that. The X in the upper right corner affects the end point, while the X in the lower left corner affects the start point. So for an example, um, this is the default linear curve. I call it the default linear curve because it's basically the curve you start out with first when you register a frame. The frames that are affected are from point A to point B, so from frame 0 to frame 13 are the frames affected. So this is what it looks like, the default curve looks like. Pretty simple, pretty simple. The next curve is called the slow, fast, slow curve, or the S curve, which basically looks something like this. And I don't use this, honestly, because it's kind of jerky. I use something like th that looks something like this, that as long as the X do not touch, does not touch the boxes, then you're good. How much better that looks. The next curve is called the slow, fast prep curve, which basically looks something like this. You see here it starts from slow and goes fast. It also looks something like this. So you go slow and then fast. Next curve is fast, slow. It's for quick, jerky movements. It looks something like this. So you can see here it goes fast and then slow. Or, or now it looks like this as well. The next curve is not really used for models. Sometimes it's used for cameras. I used it for my Tag Your It Motion camera, but never for a model. It's called the uh, Fast Slow Fast Curve. It looks something like this. See how jerky that is? I, I don't use this for models. I only use this sometimes for cameras. It's gross, I know. So yeah, just play around the interpolation curve until you get um, motion movement that you like, which I kind of like this, and I kind of like this too. I don't know why. Kind of like this better, though. Like I said, play around with it until you get the desired uh, movement that you want. And I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit that bell to get notifications from me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.